Can you smell that ocean water? That's what I'm getting, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Hey, what's up my BGA crew? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Big Guy Appetite and today you guys, I am going to be doing the long awaited, highly requested sashimi mukbang. You guys, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to dig in. Right here, I just uh, cooked this sweet river eel filet. Right here we have a salmon filet. And then we have escalar, which is like a snake mackerel. It's a mackerel. Um, we have some spicy sprouts. We have fish eggs here, which is known as masago or smelt roe. And then we have some yellow radish, wasabi soy sauce, and my homemade spicy mayo. You guys, let's go ahead and get started because I am still wagging. Father, I ask that you bless this meal in the hands I prepared it. May you provide for those going without. Heal, bless, protect, and provide for all of my BGA crew and everyone watching, my friends and family. In your precious heavenly name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Oh, you guys, y'all have no idea how long I have been craving this. I don't know why I haven't made my way down to H Mart. You guys already know I love to buy the sashimi from H Mart, and I don't know why I haven't made my way down there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to start with. Let me, you know what, let me refresh my mouth with this little yellow radish here. Mm. Wow. Oh. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is superior. You guys, that tastes phenomenal. Absolutely exquisite. Not me getting soy sauce everywhere, Lord. <laughs> it's been that long, y'all. I'm rusty. Oh my gosh, you know what? I'm gonna, since I got soy sauce all over the Escalar, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into this. Now, some people describe this as like a white tuna. It is not in the tuna uh, family. This is actually a mackerel. So if y'all wanna take a look at that. Oh man, here we go. Mmm. It is so buttery, just like salmon. I feel like um, Escalar is one of the fatty, not fatty, but like creamy fishes. So clean, not fishy. Mm, I love my sago. Let me show you guys up close. without spilling them. Ah! I'm shaking because I'm trying to hold the chopstick steady. Mmm. And let's go ahead and dig into this sweet river eel. Oh my gosh. You guys. Mmm. Wow. Sweet, tender, melt in your mouth, super fatty, delicious. It literally tastes like, like teriyaki chicken, literally. Oh man, hold on. Before I jump into the salmon, y'all already know the salmon is a star of the show, y'all. I am gonna fix me up another Escalar. Now that I mixed the wasabi properly. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I 
that is so good oh my god okay now you guys i i don't know if it's because what's going on in the world all this stuff or whatever but i cannot find the big foot i mean this is big but it's not like those gigantic pieces that i used to get back in the day you know what let me start from this end yes oh my god baby Look at that, y'all. Nice and fatty. Ooh. Oh. And then y'all know I love to dip it in the masago. Oh, how I missed you, baby. Oh my God, literally. Oh. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. This is unbelievable. I completely forgot how good this was. Mm. You guys, if you have not tried sashimi, I know a lot of you guys are probably put off or weirded out that it's raw fish, but let me tell you, Amazing. Wow. This just reminded me of something. I don't know if it's a salmon or this, but I'm getting like fresh ocean water. I'm getting Rocky Point. Hey, is that a sign? That I need to go to Rocky Point? Yes. And to drink, we have a Perrier. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This meal is an absolute treat. A treat, I tell you. Look at how tender and pull apart that eel is. And it's nice and warm. I just pulled it out of the air fryer. Mm. So, that filet of eel is normally $18. They are having a sale right now at H Mart for 10 bucks. Literally, when I walked in H Mart, I was like, what is this? It was like I was in a Costco. They each station, like each area of the supermarket, had ladies cooking food and they were giving samples of that. I love eel. And they were giving samples of it. And she told me, she's like, it's $18 normally, but it's on sale for 10 bucks. I was like, what? And then they had Galbi ribs that they were cooking. And I got to sample them. And I bought a pack. Oh my God. At this point, I'm wearing gloves. Screw the chopsticks. It's just easier to dip because when I dip, you dip, we dip, Amy. Mm. It's so crazy. I don't know when I fell in love with raw fish. I mean, in my culture, we've I grew up eating raw fish. Whether it was fish ceviche, shrimp ceviche, scallops.
But honestly, I want to say it was through sushi. The place that I go to, Akihana. I remember back in the day, during the holidays, like let's say it was the day before Thanksgiving or New Year's or Christmas. Is that ASMR? All the little eggs popping in my mouth. <laughs> and you know what I love? Is an hour or two goes by and I'm chilling and then I'm like, and one comes from up in where my gums was hiding. I was hiding in my gums and I pop it. I know that's so sick. <laughs> oh well. Mm -hmm. And then I get that flavor all over again and I'm like, ooh. Mm. Baby. So yeah. So anyway, during the all you can eat, they would have it for $24.99 in those days. And the whole menu was available. Sashimi, you name it. So during those times, I'm like, you know what? I never wanted to order the raw stuff because it was so expensive and I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. So on those days, those holidays, I would take advantage and try stuff that I would never dare since it was included in the all you can eat. And I think that was like when I started to really like explore and love the raw fish. Mm-hmm. And these little spicy sprouts. It's like wasabi, honey. Mm. This is so luscious and uh, decadent. Mm. Let me know down below. Who loves eel? It's so crazy because I was, just how I was afraid to try chicken feet. And y'all know I love chicken feet now. I was the same way with eel, because it looks like an underwater snake. So, one time, my, my sushi chef, shout out to Sean, he would always hear me say like, oh, you know, I don't want to try eel, it's scary, like, oh no. What if I don't like it? And he would always tell me, I will buy it for you. I want you to try it. You're going to fall in love. And I would always be like, no, no, no. So then just one day I gave in and he's like, look, I just bought you. I just bought you these two pieces. I want you to try them. They're one of my favorite sushis, nigiris. I said, you know what? Let's do it. He put me on the spot and I did it. Ever since that day, I'm like, can I get the eel nigiri, please? Oh, I want you guys to see this fish. Look at how luscious. Wow. Mm. No, we're down to our last little fatty piece of salmon. Should we just eat it like this or should we dip it in the masago? Let me see, put it down in the comments now. We dipped it in the mayo, should we dip it in the masago? Okay, two. Okay, yes, dip it in the masago. No, just eat it like that. Yes, yes, 
Yes, eat it in the mouth. I'm just kidding. I'm not live. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was going to dip it in the masago all along. Wow. Mm. These it's like confetti in your mouth. It's like your baby daddy. Unleashed. <laughs> okay. Literally, it's salty. Every time it bursts, you get hit with a, a flavor of like ocean water, but in a good way. Not like when you're in the ocean and you swallow that nasty, salty, disgusting water. But in a sense, it's like the best part of that, the essence of it. Come on. This is just so good, man. Mm. Okay. You get a very light underlying sweetness, saltiness, but not overpowering. It's crunchy, cold. And there is a very, very mild, oceany flavor. And it's, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a radish. But I don't know if it's, that flavor is coming from the dye that they use to dye it yellow. Or because I've been stuffing my face with all this fish. But there is kind of like a little underlying, I get Rocky Point. I get ocean, you know, when you first drive into the ocean and you're parking, getting ready to get the family and you smell that ocean water. That's what I'm getting, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Ah, yep. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mm. And then the sticky, icky, ooey gooey, delicious fish. Mm. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that, baby. When you think of eel, I mean, it's kind of like, oh, you know, it's it's like a snake of the water. Gives you the heebie-jeebies. But it is so damn good. Mm. Wow. It's giving. It's giving. It's giving laying in a canopy outside on a warm summer day and you'll find sexy picture perfect boo is grilling at the grill with just an apron on wearing that and only that y las nalgotas all out in the back you know and then he says, babe, I'm done grilling the eel. Okay, daddy, what's up? What's up with it then? 
What's up? What's up? And then he says, just lay back, I got you. And he takes this delicious filet and then dangles it over you. Oh, you can smell, it smells like fresh grill. Mm, it's sweet, it's glazed. And then he's like, mm. enjoy baby, just for you. Mm. <laughs> That's what it's giving, baby. That is what it's giving. Damn, I'm full. I'm so full. Oh, I want to eat this last bite and these. But I'm going to have to save this for a little snacky snack later. Because, Lord, this was bomb. Shout out to everybody that has been requesting this for months. Every time I'm on live stream or even in my comment sections, Y'all still remember I used to do these a lot back in the day. <sighs> Dang. This was a meal fit for a king. Fit for a king, baby. This is this is this is the meal of royalty. Literally. Oh, the, um all of this, like I said, is from H Mart. From the perilla leaves, the sesame sesame leaves that I use on the bottom for garnish, the spicy sprouts, everything, everything on here is from H Mart. And uh, today I spent, I'm only saying this because I know you guys are going to ask me in the comments, how much was the salmon? How much was this? How much was that? The total for everything was $55. 55 bucks which is affordable because I can go and get this at a sushi bar for a lot more probably. A whole filet of salmon like that? Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it was affordable. And plus, this is not, not it. You know, I got a couple other things. So I, I guess this was like maybe like $45 because I added a couple other things that I don't have on here. So like 45 maybe 50 bucks tops, which I feel is a fair price for this delicious meal at home. You guys head over to H Mart. Um, make sure you, you call and ask if they have the sashimi refrigerators because some of you have told me that your H Marts in your locations, uh, some of them do not carry the big refrigerators with all the sashimi ready to eat. So make sure you call upon going. Um, the one here in Arizona, in Mesa, Arizona, that one, has a huge refrigerator with, I'm talking about tuna, octopus, squid. I mean, you name it, uh, uni, you name it, they have it. But these are just my top little faves that I chose for today. Like I said, I highly recommend it. This meal was a 10 out of 10. And I'm so glad to be doing one of my nostalgic meals once again. Anyway, you guys, as always, thank you so much to my BGA crew for your love and support. I love you guys. I appreciate you to the moon and back. If you're new here, you know what said do. Hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, besitos.